Hello, welcome to my channel, Small Optics. My name is Jason. Well, it's a brand new year and this is the first video of a new year. And uh, what I thought I'd do today is just make a quick video um, on balance, balancing your telescope um, if it's on one of these type of mounts, an equatorial mount. Now, you may have received a, uh, a telescope for Christmas, which I hope you have. Couldn't think of a better present. And, uh, and one thing it doesn't really sit, talk too much about in the instructions of a telescope is the importance of having it correctly balanced. Um, if you don't have one of these type of telescopes correctly balanced, you'll find that it's just going to fight with you every time you take it out outside to use it. Um, equatorial mounts can be a little bit complicated or confusing uh, to newbies at first. And trust me, once you get used to them, they're, they're fantastic. So let's just, uh, like I say, I'll quickly go through on how we can uh, get this thing balanced. Now, before you actually balance your telescope, it's important that the tripod is actually level. Um, now, you can practice this indoors, uh, balancing your telescope, by all means. But you may find that when you take it outside, you know, it, it may um, be unbalanced again. Uh, because you're going to have to re-level, um, you know, to the to uh, suit the ground that your telescope's gonna be stood on, not all grounds flat. So you may have to rebalance it slightly when you're outside, um, or it may just hold its balance, uh, but just be aware of that. Now to save time, I've already done this, so my tripod's pretty level. Right, what I'm gonna do is I'll bring the scope up a little bit so we can see it. Now, what you want to do is take off your clutches, what's called your clutches here. Uh, just to loosen everything off so the telescope's going to be moving around a lot. Um, I've got this a little bit high because um, I've got to get it in the frame. Now, what you want to do is, once you've got it in this position, what I call the starting position, okay, where it's uh, you've got this T-shape affair going off, if you like, what you want to do now is just move it down so the telescope's laying flat like that. Again, I'll just loosen this off. This will be easier and I can position it. There we go. All right, so we're going to move the telescope flat, make sure all our clutches are off. So we're in this sort of position, okay? Now, what you want to do is just let go of the telescope, but still be ready to catch it. Now, can you see what's happening with mine at the minute? It's obviously bottom heavy, all right? It needs sorting out. And usually it's best to sort your counterweight out before you do the other one. So we can see that that is way too heavy. So that just simply means we need to bring this counterweight up a little bit like this. Okay, so we go back into our position, straight across like that, so it's uh, uh, flat with the floor, if you like. Let go. And that's getting there now. Okay, that's, that's not, for, it's falling down a little bit. Now, when you're at this stage, okay, when you've got it pretty much balanced, you now want to balance your tube. Okay, and as you can see, when I let go of this, if I hold it from doing that, it's falling down. It's mirror heavy, if you like. Can you see that? So what we need to do now is just loosen, if you've got tube rings uh, like this, then just loosen them off a bit so you can slide the tube. Some uh, telescopes have what's called a dovetail fitting uh, just here where you may have to loosen that and you can slide it up and down that way. So that's the next step is to just loosen your rings off or whatever it may. Now we know it's telescope uh, uh, mirror heavy, so we need to push the scope up this way a little bit. And now, remember, this is the balance we're doing at the minute on the tube. And as you can see, that's pretty good balance. Now, I can see it's still moving. Can you see how it's still moving a little bit? So that means we're still a little bit heavy this way. All right. And it's important that you do get this right. Um, your telescope will, will be, you know, uh, thank you for it. <laughs> so let's make sure we've got that right. Um, remember to re-tighten whatever you've undone, whether it's on your dovetail or your uh, tube rings, okay? I mean, it's very rare that a telescope will slide out fully and drop on the floor because you've got your focuser and things to stop it, but you don't want any panic like that. <laughs> Believe me, I've been there. Uh, so, we need to uh, bring this weight up a little bit more. Uh, just not, it's not too much, I don't think. I think we're about there. And we'll test that again. 
And as you can see, everything now stays exactly where it should be. And the way to test this now is to go round and wherever you place the telescope, it should stay exactly where you want it to. Okay, and that's just, the, just this side. And as you can see, everything now is perfectly balanced. This telescope is now ready to be taken out and enjoyed under the night sky. Now, I've mentioned this in a, in a previous video um, about quick setup, so you don't have to mess about doing this every time. It's always um, best, if you can at all, leave your telescope set up like this and just throw a sheet over it when you're not using it. I know that's not always ideal, but if you can, just, just have it leave it set up. And also, when you take your telescope outside to where you're, observe, observe, you're going to be observing, okay, once you've leveled, and uh, balanced and all the rest of it, mark the ground where the tripod legs sit. Um, you always want to have this part of the mount, okay? You want to turn it and have it pointing towards one of the legs, okay? And that way, and put a little sticker on, uh, on there to identify that, and usually that'll be your north leg. Well, it's not usually, that is your north leg. Okay, so, so now, when it comes to um, setting up and, and uh, polar aligning, by the way, if you don't know any, uh, how to use one of these, I have done a video on uh, getting to familiarize yourself with your uh, new equatorial mount. So uh, I'll leave a link to any, any videos in the description. Uh, but yes, yeah, so if you've just marked the ground and then you know this is your not north leg, then when it comes to uh, observing again, you just simply take your telescope out, you place your tripod on the dots that you've already made on the ground, and you're all ready to go. It saved you a load of time, a load of messing about having to set the telescope up because sometimes, as you've probably already found out, um, the window of opportunity of clear skies can be very narrow at times. <laughs> and by the time you've set up, yeah, the clouds have turned up, so uh, just having that little speedy thing just to uh, get everything set up and ready is uh, really useful. So remember folks, don't skip this part of balancing your telescope. Always make sure that it is uh, well balanced before you take it out. Another thing to be aware of, um, if you're using different eyepieces, that can sometimes knock the balance out again. So you may need to just uh, readjust, or if you're attaching cameras, or anything like that, then uh, obviously you, uh, what's common these days, what's popular these days is uh, putting your mobile phone uh, with a little bracket onto the focuser. And this is obviously going to make it out of balance again. So you may really have to readjust that way. But uh, that's just something to be aware of. Um, like I say, I have done a video on uh, getting familiar with your um, equatorial mount. So I'll leave a link in the description for that. Well, there we go, guys. Um, like I say, just a quick video, and I've uh, realised that I didn't actually, I've not actually covered this part of uh, of the subject of telescopes before, and it's, it is important, you know, um, to have it balanced, because like I say, it will fight you. Now, this is also important that you do this process, even if you've got a refracting type telescope um, on one of these type of mounts. It really is important to keep it balanced. Um, otherwise, like I say, the, the uh, mount in the telescope is going to feel like it's fighting against you all the time. So, uh, yeah, just just uh, a quick, it's dead easy. As you can see, I did that in literally seconds. It took me even quicker if I were to explain what I was doing. Well, folks, that's it for the first video of 2022. And while we're on that subject, I just want to say a massive thank you to all my subscribers over or that I've accumulated over the uh, past 12 months. I'm totally overwhelmed by it. It's, it's totally blown me away. Uh, so thank you, each and every one of you. I've got some big plans for this year. Um, so, you know, uh, well, let's hope that they all <laughs> come into uh play if you like um, and nothing and uh, the weather doesn't stop things too much because last year was appalling for all of us all around the world um, I, you know I, I've never known I just, for as long as I can remember I can't remember a year as bad as it were last year so let's hope this new year brings some nice clear starry skies for us <laughs> well in the meantime folks thank you so much for watching don't forget like subscribe all the rest of it and i will see you on the next one bye for now